Are you familiar with this picture? Can you identify? Where can, where can you see these objects? These are normally seen in your cars. So normally we call it as the clutch, the brake, and accelerator. This has something to do with our topic for today. Come on, let's discuss acceleration. Acceleration refers to the rate of change in velocity per unit time. It describes the change in velocity of a moving object. A moving object may either speed up or slow down. A negative acceleration is known as deceleration. This indicates that a moving object slows down. There is a change in velocity, always keep in mind there is acceleration. This is the formula for acceleration. A is equal to Vf minus Vi over T, where in A is for acceleration, Vf is the final velocity, Vi is the initial velocity, and then T is for time. Let's take a sample problem. The car with a velocity of 20 meters per second accelerated with a velocity of 35 meters per second after 3 seconds. What is the acceleration of the car? Remember, in solving problem, we have to follow the steps. So first, we're going to identify the given. So the final velocity is 35 meters per second. Initial velocity, 20 meters per second. Time, 3 seconds. So we're looking for acceleration. We are going to use the formula for acceleration which is A is equal to final velocity minus initial velocity over time. With that, 35 meters per second minus 20 meters per second, that will be 15 meters per second. So 15 meters per second divided by 3 seconds, which is our time, that will give us an acceleration of 5 meters per second squared. Another problem, the car from the garage accelerated with a velocity of 25 meters per second after 5 seconds. So what is the acceleration of the car? Analyze the problem carefully. Let's identify the initial and final velocity. So the final velocity is 25 meters per second. Then we have 0 meters per second since the car came from the garage, which is not in motion. Then 5 seconds is our time, so we're looking for acceleration again. We will use the formula, acceleration is equal to final velocity minus initial velocity over time. So for our solution, so 25 meters per second minus 0 meters per second, that will give us 25 meters per second. And then divide it to time, 5 seconds, so we will have 5 meters per second squared as our velocity. Let's try another problem. The car is traveling with a velocity of 24 meters per second. Its velocity was changed to 12 meters per second after 4 seconds. What is the acceleration of the car? Again, analyze the problem. Then we have to identify the driven. So final velocity is 12 meters per second, initial velocity is 24 meters per second, and then for time, 4 seconds. As you can see, initial velo velocity is greater than the final velocity. Again, we will follow the formula for acceleration. 
So 12 meters per second minus 24 meters per second, so that will give us negative 12 meters per second. We will divide that to 4 seconds, which is our time. That will give us negative 3 meters per second square. As you can see, we have a negative acceleration here. So that would mean that the object slows down. Remember, when the object slows down, so it decelerates. And that is a negative acceleration. Let's have a recap. Again, acceleration refers to the rate of change in velocity for unit time. It describes the change in velocity of a moving object. A moving object may either speed up or slow down. A negative acceleration is known as deceleration. This indicates that the moving object slows down.